In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the difference between flow and opacity on the brush and when to use which one. Hey Cafe Crew, it's Colin Smith here from PhotoshopCafe.com. One of the questions I get asked all the time is what is the difference between flow and opacity and which one should I use? So right now I'm using a Wacom Intuos Pro and when we grab our brush, if we look up the top here, you're gonna see three settings, opacity, flow, and smoothing. Before we even get to the opacity and flow, let me just give you a tip, smoothing. If you go like this and you see that your brush strokes are super laggy, what you wanna do is take that smoothing all the way to zero and then you're gonna get a much more responsive brush. This is used for illustrative purposes when you're trying to smoothen out curves. When you're doing retouching, you don't need it. All right, opacity and flow. So first we're gonna make sure we've got our brush selected. We've got a black brush and then let's go under the brushes and let's just grab our soft round brush right there. And then we're gonna open up the brush preferences here by clicking on that. It's gonna give us the brush settings, turn off shape dynamics, and let's make sure transfer is turned on. Opacity is set to pen pressure. Now, if I paint, notice a light touch is gonna give me a very faint. And as I push harder, I'm gonna get a darker stroke. So what we wanna do is create smooth blends. And there's two settings up here that we can use. Now, some people use opacity and some people use flow. They accomplish different things. If I set the opacity to 100%, which is what it is right now, and I push as hard as I can, I'm gonna get 100% stroke. If I drop the opacity to 50%, and by the way, the number keys, if I hit the one, it'll go 10%, seven will give it 70%, etc. And if you wanna do a number, just type quickly, like 12. But let's do 50%. So with opacity set to 50, and we're gonna keep the flow up to 100 right now, Notice no matter how hard I press, I'm gonna get 50% gray. It's not gonna go above that. And right now I'm not taking my hand off the tablet. So I can go over this area as much as I want. It's not gonna go more than 50%. Now, if I take my hand off and I go back on, now I can do another 50%. And this enables me to build up the stroke over time. Just each time I lift, 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 and then you can go this way. And let's set the flow. By the way, the shift key will enable us to do the same thing. So shift five will give us 50% flow. Shift one will give us 10% flow. Why don't we start with 100% opacity, 10% flow. Now notice what happens here. As I paint, I'm getting 10%, but as I go back over, I'm not lifting my hand off at all i'm able to keep going and keep going and keep going until i get to a hundred percent so the flow determines how quickly it gets to a hundred percent whereas opacity sets a hard limit the big difference is if you want to go more with opacity you have to lift your pen and then apply more strokes with flow you don't need to do that now let me show you another setting. As long as I'm moving, I'm building up that paint. See what's happening? I'm not lifting, but I'm building it up as long as I'm moving. If I turn on the airbrush option, I can just hold it here and notice I'm not even moving it and it's building up those strokes by itself. So I can start to blend this in and I want it darker, I just hold it. And as I hold it, see how that comes out like an airbrush. So if you want this option, then definitely do that. I'm gonna turn it off. Now I'm gonna show you something really interesting. Let's do an experiment. I wanna create a smooth blend. And why don't we do, on the left-hand side, we're gonna do opacity. On the right-hand side, we're gonna do flow. So I'm gonna hit the 10, just that one key to go 10%. And on this left-hand side, I'm gonna create a smooth blend. So let's do this using opacity. 
Let's build it up a little bit more. And this is going to be very revealing. Let's build it up. So each time I just take my hand off. If you don't like that cursor, just hit the caps lock key and it'll go into precision mode and then you don't have to look at it if it gets in the way. And see what I'm doing is I'm building up this. All right, so that's what's happening using opacity. Let me set opacity to 100 and I'm gonna do my flow to 10. So that's shift one. And I'm gonna bring back my cursor just so I can see it. And on this side, we're gonna try and do a smooth blend. Same thing we did there. All right, look at the difference. On the left, using opacity, we've got all this banding. On the right, using flow, it's a much smoother result. So if you wanna get a smoother blend, you wanna be using flow and not opacity. So does that mean opacity doesn't have a purpose? We should not use it at all? There are some things that are useful. Say for example, you wanna get a very even amount. So if I hit my opacity to 30 and let me do my flow, to 100 and I want a very, very even coverage. See how even that is using 30%. I'm not lifting my hand, just don't lift your hand. And I can go over those areas several times and I can create this nice flat area as long as I don't go over it. Now, if I set that to 30% with the flow, let's see if we can achieve the same result, like flatting out and getting it even. Mm, not so easy. So if you want to create a very consistent flat amount, you should be using opacity. If you want to create a nice blend, you should be using flow. So we're going to start with this image. I'm just going to do this super quick. So it's not going to be precise or perfect, but let's just create a new layer. And I'm just holding down the Alt or the Option key. This is going to give me the options and I'm just going to change this mode to soft light and then click OK. So all I want to do is just add a little bit of drama and I'm going to use the flow at 10%. So shift one, we'll set that opacity hundred and let's make a larger brush. So command option drag to the right. will make the brush bigger to the left. We'll make it smaller on windows. That's alt right drag. Make it maybe just a little bit smaller. All right. So what we did is just add a little bit of drama to this. So we're just darkening up the side a little bit. So let's just hit those cheeks, add a little shadow in there. Do the same on the other side. In fact, I might make this a little bit higher flow. So we're up to 30% here. We're just gonna hit those sides, maybe a little bit in the bottom of the hairline, under the chin. And let's just get it into this nose area here. So it's more of a Rembrandt kind of style lighting right there. And so if we look at this before and after we added all that drama, so you can see how quickly you can add drama to a photo. And I have other tutorials where we go much more in depth into things like dodging and burning and things like that. So I'm curious, have you guys been using flow or opacity? And has this video changed the way you're gonna be working? Or has it revealed something that you weren't aware of? Let me know in the comments underneath. And by the way, if you're new here to Photoshop Cafe, welcome. Become part of the Cafe crew. Just hit the subscribe button right now and turn on all the notifications and you'll get new tutorials from me every week. Every Tuesday is our regular tutorial. Every Thursday, 1 p.m. Pacific time is our live stream. Love to have you come and join us. And we do back to basic weekends. So if you like this video, smash the like button into dust. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.